traveling in a recreational vehicle is like having your own personal motel on wheels. RVs are either motorized or towable. Towable ones range from folding tent trailers, known as pop-ups, to more elaborate travel trailers, complete with fully equipped bathrooms and kitchens. To make a travel trailer, workers first cut steel bars to build a frame. The saw has to be drenched in coolant, or it'll overheat due to the intense friction. They drill holes for the bolts and screws they'll later use to attach certain components. Then they solder the frame parts together. They run electrical wires through the frame, lining the holes with rubber grommets to keep the wires from rubbing on the sharp metal edge. Next, they install metal brackets to hold the water and septic tanks in place underneath the trailer. Then they torque the wheels to the axle. Now they install the gas lines. The stove, the fridge and the heating system all run on propane. Next come the water and septic tanks, made of polyethylene, a heavy-duty plastic. They cut a hole in each tank and screw on a fitting. The tanks sit directly on the frame. The white ones for drinking water, the first black ones for the shower and sinks, and the second black ones for the toilet. To build the floor, they put down a waterproof membrane, then a spruce frame insulated with fiberglass wool, then 5 8 plywood, cutting vent holes for the forced air heating system. After sanding the joints and gluing down linoleum, they install the cabinetry and furniture. The plumbing fixtures come next. They connect to water lines coming up from the tanks beneath the floor. The water system is driven by an electric pump. While some workers put up the pre-assembled walls, others run wiring for the lights and appliances. The inside wall surface is vinyl paneling. Drywall would be far too heavy for an RV. The panelings mounted on a pine structure insulated with fiberglass wool. They cover the outside in aluminum siding. Then they complete the electrical wiring for the lights and appliances. Now it's time to install the roof. Another pine structure with fiberglass wool insulation covered with a thin wood called Luon that's reinforced to withstand the extra weight of roof cargo. They cut out the various ventilation holes. Then apply a layer of glue. Then lay down a high-performance waterproof rubber membrane. nailing it down along the perimeter. They install vents for the toilet, the refrigerator, and for air circulation. They caulk all the joints and around all the vents. Last but not least, the windows, doors, awnings, and any optional equipment. Workers check the water, gas, and electrical systems, then do what's called a seal test. A special machine applies air pressure from the inside out. Wherever water bubbles, there's a leak to be repaired. With all the upholstery and other decorative elements in place, this comfortable travel trailer is ready to hit the road.